I'm Stephanie and this is Thomas from BNW Tech. And in our last video we talked about the benefits of sampling with handheld Raman spectroscopy. Today we're going to continue that discussion with portable Raman spectroscopy. So Thomas, can you explain a little bit about the instruments that we have here? Yes, this is our iRaman Plus portable spectrometer. Um, we have inside a laser and a spectrometer and it's attached to the sampling interface uh, via a fiber optic probe. Oh, okay. Um, fiber optic probe is very useful because we can measure solids, liquids, and gases. Um, there's not a lot of, there's no sample prep and it's a non-destructive technique that gives results very quickly. Okay, great. So where would we use instrumentation like this? Uh, this could be used in an academic setting, in research labs, and also uh, it has a, a handle where you can actually take it out into the field. Oh, okay, great. So I see we have some samples here. So for instance, uh, the caffeine in this bag, how would we go about measuring that? One of the benefits with ramen is that you can actually measure through plastic bags and vials. So you can actually just take the, the probe okay. and put it directly onto the surface and then we can measure the content inside the bag. Okay, great. So we're going to use our BW Spec software to collect the spectra of caffeine. Okay, and this is the spectra of caffeine. Okay, great. So with these um, liquids here, how would we go about measuring something, say, in a cuvette like this one? We actually have an accessory that we can attach the probe to. It's a cuvette holder, so you can just okay. insert the methanol and water mixture into the cuvette holder and then attach the probe directly to it. Okay, um, so you said that it was mixed with water. Uh, will that affect the measurement in any way? Uh, no, due to the fact that water is a very weak Raman scatterer, so we're able to measure aqueous solutions and materials that are suspended in water. Okay, great. So we can just leave this like here for measurement? Okay. And here you can see we have a nice spectra for ethanol, with its key peaks being around a thousand wave numbers. Okay, great. So I see we have a couple of accessories that we used with the handheld Raman spectrometer as well, um, the large bottle adapter and the vial holder. So uh, these are compatible with portable Raman as well? Yes, both of them can be coupled to the probe. Okay. So similar with the cuvette holder, we can just take off uh, the top here. So, um, and it can even measure through this amber vial? Yes, you can actually make measurements through uh, clear and amber vials. Okay, great. Uh, so what is this instrument right here? This is our BAC 151 microscope. This is really useful for thin film applications, forensics analysis, or um, any type of solid materials we can use that we need high precision and high details. Okay, and we can actually um, attach our probe to this microscope as well? Yes, you can actually attach it. You can just take off the, the shaft okay. um, and then insert the microscope adapter and then connect it directly to the sampling head. Okay, great. And what are some of the benefits of a microscope like this? Some of the benefits is it gives you imaging capability so you can see exactly where you're looking on the surface of the material that you're studying. and. It also decreases the uh, spot size of, of the beam. Okay, so I see we have a business card here. Um, what would we use? What would be an example of using the business card? Um, here we can actually put that under the microscope and we can actually analyze the ink contents and differentiate between the two different colors and the components that are suspended onto the card. Okay, great. So for instance, art and archaeology, you could interpret the different inks on historical paintings. Exactly, and also in forensics applications for crime labs. Okay, great. Um, and then we also have uh, some of these plastic toys here. Um, so what, are, what would be the benefit of measuring something like this? Um, well, with this system, we can actually, you can use the microscope to analyze different contents. Um, or potential toxins that might be suspended within the plastics on the toys. Okay, so you wouldn't want um, a child putting something in their mouth that might have toxins in it? Correct. Okay, so the microscope accommodates something of an unusual size. So could we take a measurement of that as well? Yeah, we could collect the spectrum. Okay. This is showing us the polymer and then also you can identify the thiolite peak within the spectra. Okay, great. So what is this instrument over here then? Uh, this is actually our BAC-150. It's a probe holder uh, without imaging capabilities. So if you still want to make detailed measurements on your surface but do not need the imaging software, uh, then this will allow you to do the same thing. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Thanks, I hope Stephanie. you learned as much as I did. Uh, if you'd like more information on sampling with portable Raman spectroscopy, you can visit www.bwtech.com or uh, you can call the number on your screen to speak with an application specialist like Thomas. And we'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you.